Imagine everything you know about humanity's place in the universe is about to change. Today we stand on the edge of a discovery that could redefine what it means to be human. Scientists have just unveiled a model suggesting we might one day travel ten times faster than light. Welcome to Cosmic Discoveries, where we explore the frontiers of space and time. For generations, the vast distances between stars have kept us isolated, an ocean we could only dream of crossing. But now that ocean might be within reach. The idea of faster-than-light travel is moving from science fiction into real scientific inquiry. It challenges our deepest assumptions about reality and forces us to rethink the rules of the cosmos. The excitement is real. This is about unlocking the next chapter of the human story. Imagine visiting exoplanets, witnessing cosmic phenomena firsthand, and maybe even finding evidence of other intelligent life. So what is faster than light travel? It's a puzzle that has stumped the greatest minds for over a century, but each discovery brings us closer. Join me as we take the first step on this incredible voyage. To break the cosmic speed limit, we must first understand it. In 1905, Einstein's theory of special relativity set a universal law. Nothing with mass can travel faster than light, 299,792 kilometers per second. Accelerating a spaceship to that speed would require infinite energy, a fundamental barrier. The nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is over four light years away. With current technology, it would take tens of thousands of years to get there. For decades, the stars seemed forever out of reach. But what if there's a loophole? Einstein also showed that space and time are woven together in a fabric called space-time, which can be bent and warped. Gravity itself is the warping of space-time by mass and energy. If we can't move through space faster than light, what if we could move space itself? Imagine surfing a wave. You're not moving through the water. The wave carries you. The key idea is to ride a wave of space-time, not break the speed limit. This subtle distinction could be our ticket to the stars. It honors Einstein's law while opening a new path. The story of interstellar travel is about to take a fascinating turn. The leap from idea to theory began with physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994. He asked, could we create a wave in space-time, a bubble that carries a ship? His math said yes. The concept expand space-time behind the ship, contract it in front and ride the resulting bubble. Inside, the ship stays still, no acceleration, no g-forces, while the bubble itself moves at any speed. But there was a catch. Alcubierre's model required exotic matter with negative energy, something we've never found. The amount needed was more than the mass of the universe, making it seem impossible. Yet science evolves. Recently, Physicists like Dr. Harold White and Dr. Eric Lentz revisited the equations. By reshaping the warp bubble, they found it might be possible using only positive energy, no exotic matter. Their models use complex space-time geometry but rely on principles we already understand. The impossible is now just extremely difficult. The warp drive is moving from fantasy to a real, if distant, possibility. The next step turned theory into experiment. The journey continues. What does this new research mean? The dream of a warp drive is back no longer pure fiction but speculative science. Researchers like Lentz and White are doing the hard math, publishing real results. Lentz's work proposes solitons, self-sustaining waves of space-time that could transport objects. His calculations suggest these could be powered by conventional energy, not impossible exotic matter. The energy required is still immense, but now it's an engineering challenge, not a physical impossibility. White's team has reduced energy needs by changing the warp bubble's shape from a sphere to a donut. They're even exploring micro-warp bubbles in the lab, using quantum effects like the Casimir effect. These are real, measurable phenomena, tiny steps toward harnessing space-time itself. The language is becoming more precise, the path forward clearer. We're talking about manipulating quantum vacuums, hyperdense plasma, and powerful electromagnetic fields. The challenge is enormous, but the roadmap is forming. The impossible is now a question of how, not if. The leading researchers have given us more than hope. They've given us a plan. The future of interstellar travel is no longer just a dream.
What would a warp-capable starship look like? Forget sleek aerodynamic designs, space has no air resistance. The ship's core would be a central module for crew and cargo, nestled safely inside the warp bubble. Surrounding it, massive rings or scaffolds housing the warp drive machinery built to manipulate space-time with extreme precision. These structures would need to withstand forces and energy densities far beyond today's technology. Engaging the drive wouldn't feel like acceleration. The space around the ship would warp and the vessel would simply vanish from one point and reappear at another. This isn't about pushing against anything. The ship is carried by the universe itself. Journeys that once took years could take minutes or weeks. Mars would be minutes away, Proxima Centauri just weeks. The solar system becomes our backyard and the stars our new frontier. The engineering is daunting, but the vision is clear. The warp drive would revolutionize space travel. The age of interstellar exploration could be closer than we think. When will we see a working warp drive? Realistically, we're at the very beginning. The leap from theory to technology is long, decades, maybe a century. The first step, prove the physics in the lab, perhaps by creating a microscopic fleeting warp effect. Even that would be a Nobel-worthy achievement. Scaling up will require breakthroughs in energy materials and computing. Think of aviation. The Wright brothers' first flight lasted seconds, but it led to the moon in just over six decades. The first warp drive tests will likely be unmanned probes sent to nearby stars. These robotic explorers will pave the way for human journeys. We may not see starships in our lifetimes, but we are witnessing the birth of the idea. Our role is to support the research and keep asking big questions. Today's work lays the foundation for tomorrow's explorers. This is our legacy a gift to future generations. One day our descendants may look back at Earth from another world. Let's dream for a moment. Imagine a future where the stars are within reach. What new worlds will we find? Planets teeming with life or strange exotic landscapes? Picture standing on a world with two suns or watching methane oceans under alien skies. Faster than light travel would unlock the universe's greatest mysteries. We'd become explorers, not just observers. This quest is about more than science. It's about the human spirit and our drive to discover. Throughout history, we've crossed oceans and climbed mountains. The stars are our next step. They call to us as they have for generations. Answering that call is humanity's greatest adventure. The journey has begun and the breakthroughs we've discussed are the first glimmers of a new dawn. Thank you for joining me on Cosmic Discoveries. The universe is waiting, its secrets ready to be uncovered. Until next time, keep looking up.